Christine Bentley, and we want to remind you not to forget to download our What She Said radio podcast. It is free on iTunes, thanks to VUFA.ca, the number one website design wholesaler in Toronto, serving some of the leading brands in the U.S. and Canada. So visit VUFA.net and join to monetize your services today. And in fact, we have the founder of VUFA.net sitting with us right now. Good morning, Vivek. Good morning, Christine. And me, I'm here too. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so we're going to talk about, um, today, we're going to talk about five steps to increase your sales online. Now, you've actually been helping my daughter, Alexandra Beaton, with her new Beaton and Foster. Let's give them a plug. She's uh, doing all kinds of uh, travel logs and everything. And she gets invited to all kinds of European countries, all expenses paid to post. Oh, to have... 176,000 followers on yes, Instagram. Uh, but you've been helping helping them uh, set up their websites and everything. So so what is what are your key five steps? Well, um, as you know, every business has their own trade secrets. And uh, I'm going to disclose some of these trade, trade secrets today. And uh, if, if you think that you want to sell more online, and, mo- well, most of the people think that if a product is good, it is cheap and it can be delivered fast, then that means, you know, they can sell more. Well, that is not always true because of the reason that if something is good and cheap, it won't be fast. If something is cheap and fast, it won't be good. And if something is good and fast, it won't be cheap. So you got to understand, you know, these three statements. I don't know, I'm fast and cheap and apparently I'm good. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Don't go there, Vivek, it's okay. (laughs) But but if you really uh, think... uh, a little bit more about this, you will realize that uh, people don't understand that companies like Apple, which is one of the best examples, where they have not just a good product, but they have a great product. And the pricing is not cheap at all. You know, they are one of the most expensive cell phones out there. And uh, they don't deliver it fast either. You know, you have to line up and then they will take their own time to deliver it to you. Yet, they sell more than anybody else in the smart device industry. Okay, but Vivek, comparing Apple, which has been around for a number of years and has built its brand over that time, to, let's say, a startup that wants to go online, Mm -hmm. it's not quite the same thing. It's not the same thing, but uh, there's something called brand positioning. And when you are going to position your brand in in a particular niche in such a way so that you provide uh, higher and greater value to your customers. Like price point is only important when you say, uh, you know, I have a product that is not worth that much and it's not going to enrich my customer's life anyways, so let me sell it for cheap. But if you know inside your heart that, you know, this product can change their life, you can price it higher. That's the thing. If you price it higher, there will be a whole different world of customers that will be interested to buy that product from you. It's sort of, it's a psychological play, really, Mm -hmm. because people say don't underestimate the value of what you're selling, because people look at it and think if it is inexpensive, it's probably not as good. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are, because if you see 1998 BMW, um, you know, bought out uh, Rolls Royce. If you see Rolls-Royce cars, you will see that their pricing starts with 300000 plus, whereas a BMW car you can buy for $150,000, from $80,000 to $150,000. Even though the both the cars have a lot of similar features, they offer the same similar features, like uh, they have the same cha- chassis inside mm-hmm. the car, and uh, uh, they have the same leather seats that they use in the car, okay, same quality, but then the pricing is so different for, for each model there. But in these situations, we're talking about Rolls-Royce, that's a status purchase? Yes. And Apple is is not quite status, but a status, it's almost a must-have. I mean, for, for, certain, mem- for certain generations, you have to have an Apple. Yeah. Uh, my children look at me and say, I can't believe you don't have a Mac computer. I mean, how can you exist? Mm-hmm. Because Absolutely. it's been, it's part of their culture. It's mm-hmm. sort of part of pop culture or whatever. But for... I don't know, let's say you're selling shoes or T-shirts or, mm. I mean, yes, La Boutins are one thing, but what about if you're not? It's not La Boutin, it's not Jimmy Choo's. See, that's why, that's why you have to put a lot of emphasis on the quality of your product. If you really can, you know, bring the quality of the, because the price is always going to be directly proportional to the value you're going to provide your customers. It's a simple formula. Or the status. 
Status is again, you know, it, it has to do a lot with the brand uh, uh, positioning in the market. So if you don't have a brand and you just go out there and say like, hey, I have this product, I want to sell it out there. People are going to say like, first of all, we are not interested to buy it from you. And second of all, because we don't know much about it. So, uh, you know, there is no chance that we will invest in such a product. So your, the name of the product is very important. The, the brand is very important. Okay, so that's brand positioning. That's important. And then yeah. what about getting the word out, um, making sure, like with your website, obviously, but I've noticed that a lot of people have websites that don't read properly on other devices, like iPads or phones. Right. So uh, the second step, and, and the second step to sell more is to have a responsive website because 87% of the customers these days are using smartphones and iPads to access your site and buy from you. So you should have a website that works on cell phones. It has the right uh, uh, you know, size of the fonts, uh, right uh, height of the sentences that you are uh, typing in because it has to be simple to read. That's the first thing. Again, for any product, it is very important that you have a sales page. Now, a sales page consists of a good title, a compelling title, a great description, something to do with features and benefits. So there has to be a table of features and benefits right there. And again, the price point has to be directly proportional to the amount of value they're going to provide to your customers. Okay, so mobile friendly. So then, and what about like getting, um, we hear so much about search engine optimization. SEO. Now that's, that's, uh, that's the third step to uh, sell more online, that when you're putting up any description on your website or on the sales page, you should include keywords so that the search engines can uh, know what exactly you're selling. Because most of the time, people will just use a description copied from other website. And it is very hard for search engines to realize that what this person is trying to sell. So you you got to educate your customers uh, through search engine optimization. And that is very important these days. Now, is that a function that you would hire somebody for if you were starting a business? Because most lay people or even good business people wouldn't know those key words. Well, the thing is... Uh, these days you can find a lot of videos online on YouTube where you can learn the strategies on how you can find those kind of keywords. Okay. But at the same time, if you uh, really want to you know, become successful, it's always better to hire an expert in that field because right. they can actually do the right meta description for you, uh, the tagging for you, and use the right content, piece of content, quality content on the site so that when search engines are trying to scan your site, they will know exactly what you're trying to sell, plus they will promote you by listing you on the first five page of Google. Hmm. But again, I never go, and you have to watch whether it's sponsored at the top. I usually go to the second page, or I go down, because I think the first, the first couple are you know, so good, so professional, that I go down a few if I'm, if I'm looking for something, right. but that may just be me. What about um, newsletters? The law changed fairly recently in Canada that you can't just you know, mass email mm -hmm. everyone. So how do you get the word out to people? Is it through a newsletter that you get them to subscribe to? See, uh, the fourth strategy and one of the most important strategies is to create a database of customers. And the way to do that is to put an opt-in box, that is a subscription box on your site, on your sales page, so that when somebody is going to your website and they're looking at the product, maybe they are a little bit interested, maybe chances are they're not that much interested, but they might say, like, let me put my name in email mm -hmm. to get a 10% discount from these guys. Maybe mm -hmm. I will use the coupon later on. Oh, but so offer them something to You've got to have up. an offer. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, there is no chance they're going to subscribe to your site. Now, where does social media fit in there? in terms of promoting your brand and trying to get people to your website? Well, uh, the thing is you have to make your social media pages really popular first of all. That is the first step of using social media. Unless your pages are popular, there is no chance that you will get any traffic on your site. So in order to make your uh, social media popular, you can use something called like, for example, on Facebook they have promote your page. Mm -hmm. So they charge you whatever, $10 per week and they will get you 100 likes for that, right? Mm -hmm. So they automatically promote your page, and that's how you can get more uh, likes on your page. Yeah, but things like, for example, if you're trying to advertise, uh, you're giving away something because mm -hmm. you're trying to get people to subscribe. Mm -hmm. If you went on Twitter and, and, and you did it cleverly, mm -hmm. could you yes. guess? Is that the way to? Yeah, that is the way to do it because... Uh, uh, any offer, you know, people just li like discount coupons all the time. You know, you say 10% uh, 
15% discount coupons are right here. If you click here and go and subscribe, you will, you will receive your discount coupon. People are going to buy into that, and they will put their name and email. Now, I've heard um, a couple of other people have told me that the magic number on Facebook, when you will start to grow exponentially without doing a lot of work, is 5,000 followers. Is there any uh, truth to that? Uh, the thing is, uh, it doesn't ring any bell to me because the magic number is not 5,000. The magic number is 10,000. 10,000. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not 5,000 No, anymore. you can only have 5,000 on a personal page. On a yeah, personal no, page, but when it comes yeah. to uh, a exactly. business page, yeah. you've got to have at least 10,000 people in there because you will always realize that it's always going to be 50% uh, of the people responding to what you do. So if you're looking at 5,000 people, chances are there will be only 2,000 people who will respond to your post or even look at that post. Yeah, because so, of the uh, new algorithms that they change all the time, I think only 3% of them are seeing, of your followers are seeing them anyway, right? Yeah. So how do you track, um, and how important is tracking and monitoring this kind of stuff? Um, tracking is very important for uh, any website or any products or e-commerce, uh, you know, uh, ser services that you offer, because uh, by tracking where the customer is coming from, you are actually tracking from where the sales leads are originating. Mm. So if you know where the sales leads are originating, chances are that you can focus more on that particular niche and sell more. Selling more is a good thing. Um, Always been. Okay, so and you, you offer, VUFA offers these services? Yes, we offer a website design that is a mobile responsive website design, sales pages. Uh, we offer so, uh, social media, search engine optimization, uh, video production. And uh, analytics, Google Analytics, and uh, you know Google AdWords, uh, Google AdSense. So anything and everything that you can think about doing online marketing, we offer that all. Plus graphic design, logo branding, brochure design, and flyers. Okay, and that's all at vufa.ca. So yes. if it can help you out, yeah. v o o f a dot c a.